Oh, hi, Luca. Wait, what are you wearing? Oh, I remember, it's your Friday morning workout, right? You pump for a big session? Come on, mate, that's not the attitude. Get stuck in, yeah? Come on, what's your first exercise? What in God's name are you doing? Come on, Luca, let's take this seriously. Yeah, come on, there's loads of room here. Just get on the floor and do them properly. Much more like it. Absolutely textbook form there. What's next? Mm -hmm, probably avoid that one from now on. What's next? Mm, it's a bit too heavy today, mate. Let's move on. It's not happening, is it, bud? What else you got? Not seen. Better. <laughs> yes, lad, that's what I'm talking about. You got a big finale lined up? <laughs> Luca, you absolutely nailed it. I did it, yes! I'm oh, I bet you are, mate. I'm not surprised. You know what? Put your feet up. You deserve it after that. Welcome to another video and quick fire response to your questions. How is the bolt going Matt? Thanks for asking. It's going like not great. I'll be honest. It was going really well. I got up to 98 kilos for a couple of days in succession. Then the last five days or so it's just started to suck. I'm going to be honest like it's just making me like hate food basically. Um, and I know a lot of people out there will be saying what are you talking about? Like you can eat like really nice food all the time. It must be awesome. Why are you complaining? Like trust me. Try and eat 6,000 calories a day even for a week and I'm pretty sure that you'll start to hate food as well. So I'm not going to stop bulking, I'm just going to have like a little kind of mini break. Like I'm still going to try and eat a lot of food, so I still essentially will be bulking, but I'm just going to kind of cut out the force feeding element, because that's the part of it, like when I start to get filled up, I start to get a bit sick, and then keep eating food, that's the part that kind of messes me up, so I'm going to try and minimise that for a few days, and hopefully it'll kind of reset my brain, and I'll be good to go again. Second question, Matt, how do you look sick all the time? I don't know, it's just like one of those things, I'm kind of like a naturally fashion driven guy, wouldn't you say, says? Yeah, big time. Yeah, so uh, these, by the way, oh, are Legend London jeans. These are the light grey option and they're friggin' sick because, like, anyone, if you, you squat... Those, you call those your testosterizers, don't you? I don't, but Sayers did say, and I quote, they light a fire deep within my loins. So if that's not enough for you to go and get some, then I don't know what it is. There's a link in the description. But yeah, they're friggin' sick. If you, like, squat or just train legs, you'll know the feeling of like trying to buy trousers and it just not happening because no trousers fit. These friggin fit like really well. You can do all kinds of like <clears throat> sick stuff and they're just never, you think, do you know what? They're not gonna be able to handle this. Yes, they are. So yeah, go and get some. And then thirdly, Matt, I'm bored of you talking about weird crap. When are you gonna go and have breakfast? Probably about now. I think I just ate you. Sorry. Um, right, breakfast, let's go. Says. Have you eaten yours already? No, nope, mine's here. I'm going to say Jesus, Wheats. Okay, so, you're having wheats, yep. aka, if you want to, <laughs> like if God. you want to literally die of boredom during your breakfast, go and get some shredded wheats. Like, Luca seems to like them. Luca, do you like shredded wheats? Yeah. 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 Okay, you're a weirdo. They, they literally what taste of nothing. In fact, they're, they're like beyond you nothing. They're like wheat. so bad, they've gone into like negative. How many have you got? Descriptive terms, they're just really, really bland. Um, I'm gonna have some Shreddies Max, which is like, in case you're unaware, it's the Shreddies with some granola on them. And I'll be honest, they're not as good as I thought they were gonna be. They look sick, you think they're gonna be like really sweet and like, you know, like granola and OT, but they're, they're all right, but they're just, okay, just a bit plain. You do have like, you want like loads of sugar on them, huh? Yeah, that's true. I mean, if you wanna make them taste, but I'll give you a, a demonstration, ready? Okay. What do you say? Mmm. They taste alright. Can I have some shredded wheat quickly? Mm. Just reset fingers. my palate. Oh my god, these are ridiculously sweet. Okay, there you go. It's a good way to make it work. Um, right, I'm going to have these, which by the way, Muscle Food sent me the free sauce. I got loads of stuff from Muscle Food, and whenever you get stuff from Muscle Food, they just send you random free crap, and this is the one that they sent me, so pretty good. Um, 
I'm gonna have like a medium sized bowl because like I said, I'm trying to not force myself and like in the morning I'm not mega hungry. Unlike some people. Like more Nana, more of Mummy's Nana. Your 15th banana for the day. Yeah, Luca's already eaten a whole banana. Just quickly imagine, like, a banana for Luca would be like me eating like a like a friggin' one foot long banana. That's a lot of banana. And he eats it in about four seconds. Um, also, have some protein. That is uh, vanilla way. I'm mixing it up a little bit because I got bored of having uh, chocolate caramel all the time. In a pro mix, hashtag sick vortex spins around, makes your drinks look way better and saves you doing this like an absolute doom for try and, six try hours. Try and drink it whilst it's going. <laughs> that will sound okay. better. If this goes everywhere, <laughs> well, you're cleaning this up, okay? Can we just shake on that? No. Oh, Luca! That counts as a shake. Be <laughs> for clarity because it says it's an idea. Oh my god. That was a stupid idea. That was a stupid idea. I'm sick of this. So, Daddy, stop shouting. Right. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna eat my back brush. He's gonna eat my banana. He was gonna eat his banana. Broke up. Back to in a bit. Right, Sarah and Luke have gone to Metafit, which is like the baby exercise thing they go to every Friday morning. I think I explained in the last video like what that was. Um, I need to go training fairly soon. But before I do that, I thought I'd quickly elaborate on what I was talking about earlier in regards to the bulk. Now, I think the main reason, like, I'm finding it hard, obviously, you know, aside from the fact that it's hard to eat loads of food, is the fact that, like, I don't feel like I have a, a goal as such. Like, I've been saying, you know, loosely, I would like to get to around 100 kilos, but I feel like that's a bit of like a, that's just like an abstract number. It's not really linked to anything, like tied to anything really, like I've just thought, you know, that'd be a nice round number to hit. It's not really a goal that's kind of motivating me as such. Like, I think when I bulked previously, like in a serious way, I got up to like 104 kilos, but <clears throat> that was when I was powerlifting. And at that time I was bulking uh, in order to hit the limit of my weight class to go to the British champs. And I was motivated to do that because like, you know, ultimately there was a direct correlation between me gaining weight and me getting stronger. Like the more I ate, even though it was hard and horrible, I would get stronger in the gym and it was it was worth it. You know, there was like a good exchange there. But at the moment, it's that isn't happening. Like, you know, I am getting bigger, but it's the whole thing of like when you bulk, in a way you look smaller because like you're not as defined. You're losing that definition where you're gaining fat. And so I look in the mirror and I don't look as good as I did like when I was cutting. Um, and a lot of the cut was far more enjoyable than this current bulk. So I don't know, I'm just kind of thinking out loud, like, and also apparently reciting uh, popular song titles. Thinking out loud. But yeah, I just think like, when you do stuff, you should have some kind of like long-term plan or idea, you know, even if it's just a loose one. And like, I don't think I do in the sense that like, I just feel like, what's the point? You know, like I'm, it's, it gets to the evenings and I'm like literally forcing food down and just feeling sick and gagging and stuff. And I'm thinking like, why am I doing this? Like, I don't think I'm gonna build much more muscle. I don't think I have, I don't think I have the natural capability to build, you know, a significant amount of muscle from the point I am now, unless I was to take drugs or I was to go on a crazy bulk of eating, you know, like 10,000 calories a day. Um, and that's not gonna happen. Like I'm eating, again, I'm, I'm eating like 6,000 calories a day and I'm gaining weight, but the nature of your metabolism is that it's gonna adapt. And mine is very adaptive. So I know that in a few weeks time, even if I was to continue eating 6,000 calories every day, in a few weeks time, that would no longer be enough, you know, and I'd have, then have to start eating more. And like, what, am I gonna start eating 7,000 calories a day? Like, I can tell you now, I'm not gonna do that. Like 6,000 calories is killing me. It's very unenjoyable and it's getting progressively worse. So 7,000 calories would be, you know, would be ridiculous. And then what do I keep increasing that? Like, obviously I can't keep doing that indefinitely. And if I did, you know, if I was competing or if I had some, you know, real kind of burning desire and a real goal, then maybe I could force myself to do that and just keep going and keep eating the food. But I don't, you know, I don't think I have enough of it or anywhere near enough of an incentive. Like I feel like, and again, I'm just thinking, I'm just kind of, you know, projecting my thoughts here, but I feel like I would maybe like at some point, maybe soon, just to cut down to a point where I look good, I'm happy with my level of like body fat, and then just maintain, and maybe just maintain forever. Like I think, I think unless you're, like I said, competing and you have a real goal, I think bulking and cutting are just horrible, unenjoyable things. Like doing a proper cut 
sucks because you can't enjoy yourself ultimately and doing a proper bulk sucks because you're just fat and you just feel lethargic and horrible. I don't want to spend the majority of my life doing that if it's not going to give me a rewarding endpoint and you know it's not. I feel like basically I mean I feel like I could not be cramming all this food in and look better. So like what again where's the, the where's the motivation there? I don't know. I think I'm just gonna play it by ear for the next couple of weeks maybe I mean I waited until this morning and I was like 97.7 so I'm still up there I'm still you know, I haven't lost a, a, you know, any weight really I'm probably just gonna like I said for the next few days to a week just kind of eat what I want not force feed myself and then see where I am but I'm thinking in the yeah short to midterm I may just cut down so I look good and I feel good and then just maintain because I mean I think I reckon I could get to a point where I'm eating what I want, like when I want, and maintain a good level of like leanness and hold on to a good amount of muscle mass and just it'll be more enjoyable. It wouldn't be this like, you know, all or nothing, like, you know, cut and starve yourself or like bulk and feel sick all the time. It'll just be a nice kind of middle ground. Um, and yeah, it'll be better. But uh, this is, I've kind of rambled on. I've probably spoke for about three hours there and a lot of that's probably like repeating myself but I just thought you know like I like to be accountable and I want you guys to know what's going on in my life and that's just you know that's basically it like I'm kind of uh, my diet at the moment is up in the air um, but I'll kind of keep you posted um, as and when things develop but yes I need to get changed to get to the gym so let's make that happen let's train Good banana, more importantly, let's go home and get some lunch. And here is it. And by it, I mean a miscellaneous sandwich because Sears made it because he's a G and I do not know what's inside it. Is this like a surprise? Am I going to be positively, pleasantly surprised? Yeah, oh, hello, yeah. cheese. Hello, ham. Hello, chives. Sweet corn. Nope. Psych, chives. Cheese, ham, chives. Yeah. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> that was a good sandwich. Um, it's been toasted on multi sides, aka two sides. Also have some temporary dessert in the shape of some tambazic. So the plan is to eat this, eat some of these, and then go and get some like real dessert. See you there. And as promised, we're here. This is called the cake box, which it's a pretty like descriptive name because it is a box filled with cakes and more specifically, pretty freaking sick looking cakes. Um, Okay, I think I've decided, can I please get one Kinder Surprise cake, please? And then, oh my God, so I'm gonna just quickly go through these options. There's a lot of friggin' good looking cakes here. Okay. I'm gonna say, what do you reckon? Uh, Ferrero Rocher? Really? Can't go wrong with that. Bueno, Bueno. Okay, Bueno. Yeah. Can we get, yeah, so one Kinder one and then one Bueno one, yeah. please. Thank you so much. Okay, this is gonna be good. Oh my god. So, have a look at these. This is compulsory. Look at them. Look at them. How good, particularly both things. I can't even distinguish. So, is that a whole Kinder egg on top? Yeah. As if. Oh my god. That's made to the cake. Sorry, says so right. How am I even gonna begin to go about eating these? What? It's like specially designed. So well, you know, you can you you do the camera, mate, and I'll do the cakes. Yeah. You've Stick to what that. we know. You're an expert camera woman. <laughs> I'm an expert cake man. Look at that. That looks sick. If you happen to be in the folks in area, go into the cake. Was it called cake box? Go into the cake box. Sounds a bit like pervy, doesn't it? Oh, the cake box. Come into my cake box, says. Do you want to see my cake box? Yeah. Why is it stuck to the box? What's happening here? Brilliant. 
Shall I come back when you finish this? <laughs> no, this is brilliant, this is gripping footage. Why can I not do this? Is it some kind of like challenge? Okay, again, that is We're in, here we go. We're I'm in, right. In the next one. Okay. Oh my god, look at that! That looks <laughs> sick! How many calories do you reckon on this? I don't know. Loads. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's not going to make any of it, so it should be fine. That's very good. The spun just tastes like Kinder Egg. Holy crap. Okay, now. Have you bought a fork out at all? Fork? Yeah, you know, that we want to eat some of these without your. I'm dribble. a queen, mate. Eh? I'm from the street, it says. Look, then see here, there's a little tab. Pop. <laughs> and then you can undo it. Why did you say pop when you did that? Why is it stuck <laughs> to the bottom? Oh! Okay. This is the Bueno one. Pretty excited for this. Says you excited for this? I'm gonna try and eat that one of the bueno bits as I bite it. Look how high that is. As if I'm gonna get that in my mouth. You think I can do it? Yeah. Say no because it'll motivate me to try and no. do it more. No, I don't. No? Think, no. Are you mad? Good. Yeah. That one's better. Those are still very good. Right. I'm gonna eat this now. Then probably have a bath. <laughs> in the dark, and then cut to later. Game on. So, this is dinner. Oh, before I eat dinner, I'll probably fill you in on what's been going on since you last saw me. So, I ate the Kinder thingy and the Bueno cake. They were both friggin' sick. I then felt sick. I then went to my bed and lied down, then did some work. I then went to my life drawing class, um, painted my latest piece called 93 Year Old Nude. Fisherman. Good. This is buttocks. <laughs> Shaved. Um, yeah, it was a bit intimate, but art is about intimacy, I think, so we can all relate to that in some way. Uh, right, oh my god, I struck trees myself. This is some pretty sick looking bolognese, although to describe it as sick, that's obviously subjective because any description, in a sense, is down to your own interpretation, but I deem it to be pretty sick looking, particularly now I've covered it, whoa, why is that in there? Uh, covered it in cheese, uh, Sarah's made a freaking huge, look at this, is that the most bolognese you've ever seen, unless you work in some kind of industrial, I don't know, restaurant setting, that's a lot, and it's very, very good, isn't it, Sarah's? Yes. Are you proud of it? Um, what did you say to me earlier about it? we have to get it to fit in our freezer. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We'll just get a... Uh, We'll just move to like Siberia and then we can just, uh, everywhere is a freezer. How is that? In fact, how much of the house is in Siberia? How much is our freezer bill? Electricity in our freezer must be quite a substantial amount. I think if we lived in Siberia, we'd save like 100% of our freezer bill because we could just put stuff in our garden. Should we do it? Yeah, definitely. Okay, done. You heard it here first, guys. Right, um, this is very good, by the way. Should we just... Film, <laughs> <laughs> so that's disgusting. <laughs> Summer shilling has already started, okay. says. Um, why? Well, I'm going to heat mine up and eat it so it's yeah. cold. Pretty good call. Um, I think we're going out this eve, but I need to confirm that, so I'll let you know shortly. But um, for now, I'm very hungry because uh, I haven't eaten for like four hours, so I'm going to eat this and then, uh, yeah, see what happens. It's happening, I'm excited, we're going out, we're gonna to go to a friend's house, we're gonna have a few drinks, and I think I'm gonna like think I know I'm gonna wind the video up here because like when I drink I revert to my 15 year old self and there's a strong chance I would break the camera like I'd try and vlog in the bath or something. So I think it's best for everyone involved if we just stop the video here. Um I think I've eaten quite a lot today, which is quite ironic because like I haven't been trying to, but I think that's kind of part of it, you know, like when like, as soon as I stop force feeding myself, it becomes more enjoyable. I'm not like mindful of having to eat loads, and I end up eating a reasonable amount anyway. I'll probably eat some more tonight because I'm sure there'll be like snacks and stuff there. So, when I go to social events, I end up eating quite a lot anyway. Um, I'll have some protein and creatine when I get back, and then that, my friends, is going to be that. So, I sincerely hope you enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you tomorrow.